Good morning, viewers! At this time, allow me to share to you life in six words. Okay, this is just less than five minutes of your time. Please take time to finish until the end. Subscribe in my channel, please. All right. If you were to describe life in just six words, what words would you choose? Okay, from the choices I gave in the screen, just please choose six words that describe your life right now. Just be honest. Anyway, only you will know the description of your life right now. Be honest, okay? Be perfectly honest. Relationships, freedom, fun, God, pain, happiness, family, struggles, adventure, money, purpose, routine, broken, or meaningless. Be honest, okay? So, now, I will also give you six words. Number one, God created us to be with Him. Six phrases anyway, or six sentences. Did you know that God created you and me to be with Him? God wants to have a relationship with you and me. Psalm 103 says, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us and we are His. Uh, it's like, for example, the we make something, we always want to be with us. Okay? We own that. So it's really special to us. So also us, we are like that. God created us. So God wants to be with us always. He owns us. Number two, our sins separate us from God. Did you know that our sins, your sins, separate you from God? So you don't have a relationship with God yet because we are sinners. Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So before or right now, we are sinners. Okay? And all of us fall short for the glory of God. So we cannot go to God because we are sinners. We are separated from God because of our sins. Number three, sins cannot be removed by good deeds. Okay, because we want to have a relationship with God, we want to remove our sins by doing good. But did you know that that's, that doing good will not remove our sins? But doing good is good. But officially, it will not remove our sins. Number three says, uh, Isaiah 64, 6 says, all of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. Ah, hello. Even the nicest person that you know, the coolest person that you know, the the even the what's this? The pastor, the priest, no? They in one way or another they have sinned. All of us, no one is exempted, all of us. And our good deeds are just filthy rags compared to God's goodness. Okay? We should realize that. And number four, I want to tell you, is paying the price for sin. Jesus died and rose again for you and me. Hello? Because we cannot pay for our sins. We cannot remove our sins from doing good deeds. Jesus died for you and me. Romans 5.8 says, But God demonstrated His own love for us. In this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Now, can you imagine somebody whom you did wrong will die for you? That is so impossible. But Jesus did it for all of us. That is how merciful God is to us. He sent His Son jesus christ number five and everyone who trusts in him alone has eternal life okay i want to emphasize alone okay never trust in any other things or yourself or to people but those who trust in jesus alone has eternal life john 3 16 is very very familiar verse for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Hello? Do you want to have an eternal life? Yes, me, I want to have an eternal life. 
Number six, life with Jesus starts now and lasts forever. That's what the Bible says. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. And John 17, 3 says, Now this eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. The Bible also says, Jesus said, I am the only way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. So we only go to Jesus alone. Okay, so remember the gospel. God our sins paying everyone's life. Now I think you're ready to put your faith in Jesus. You understand that? Our good deeds cannot remove our sin, but only in believing in Jesus Christ that He died on the cross and rose again. So, the Bible tells us that our heart and soul are transformed when we put our trust in Jesus. Do you believe in that? When we do, a new relationship begins with God. So, we can now go to God. We can be with God already. A prayer is one way for you to express your newfound faith in Jesus. So, I hope you'll pray with me in this next prayer slide, okay? From the heart that you want to go to God already. You want to have a relationship with God. And you acknowledge that you cannot remove your sin by doing good, but only in trusting Jesus that He died on the cross and pay for your sins. Pray this prayer from the heart. You can follow after me or just read with me this prayer. But pray it from the heart, please. Because God knows what's in your heart right now. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, I know that my sins have broken my relationship with you. And that nothing I could do could ever change that. But right now, Lord, please, I believe that Jesus died in my place and rose again from the dead. I trust in Him to forgive me for my sins. Through faith in Him, I am entering an eternal relationship with you. Thank you for this free gift. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Wow! Congratulations for praying that prayer because you just made the most important decision of your life you are now part of a wonderful diverse family of believers of jesus who can help you grow in your new relationship with god okay with jesus so just contact me if you want or watch all my videos here to help you grow in knowing god or read the bible every day pray every day okay and uh, grow more in knowing god more and more in your life who god is knowing god who god is knowing god more and more in your life than before because there is a transformation of your life already all right so let me pray for you also lord thank you so much lord whoever prayed that prayer for the first time and accepted you as his lord and savior surrendered lord god his life to you lord god he wants to have a relationship with you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord God, that you will touch his life right now, Lord God, and transform her, his, his or her life to the life you want him to be or her life to be, Lord God. Lord, may he continue to surrender his life to you and know you more and more, Lord God. May his appetite, his hunger for you be quenched, be supplied, Lord God, in your power, Lord God, that only you can supply, Lord God. Strengthen him, comfort him, guide him always. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. So i just like to share to you this app's Life in Six Words. If you can download it, download it because it's really very helpful and you can share this also. This video, you can share this video to the people whom you love, whom you want to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like. Goodbye and God bless you. Bye-bye.